I am a horrible typist. Not only am I slow, I make tons of mistakes. Whenever I try to get the words that are in my head out my fingers onto the screen, I've lost half of it, and I always have to go back and correct tons of mistakes. So I set out on a quest to find the best speech-to-text software for Linux Mint. So a lot of people have told me, well, there's a lot of great programs for Windows, but you'll have to run it in an emulator. And I didn't want to do that because I don't like running emulation on my computer. I figured if I'm going to switch to Linux, which I did about six years ago, I'm switching all the way. I don't want to use commercial software. I want to be as free from big tech and commercial software as I can. Now, of course, we have to use some of it, but I mean, at a minimum, right? So I knew there had to be a program for Linux. So not too long ago, I actually did find a good piece of software for Linux Mint. And so let me show it to you. So you go to the software manager and you type in speech note. And you install it right here. Now, of course, I already have it installed. So when you first open the program, you have to install a language module. So if you go up to languages here, and of course, I pick English. And here's all the different English modules. Now, if you go down here, this is the one that I installed. Uh, English, Faster Whisper, Distill Large, Version 3. It, if you click on the I, it'll give you information about it. Uh, faster Whisper Engine, NVIDIA Hardware Acceleration. Processing speed is slow, but the quality is really high. And it has punctuation, which, you know, additional capabilities. This one has worked well for me. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones here. I have not tried hardly any of these. I tried just a couple of them. But if you get like this one here, you click on the information here. Now the processing speed is fast, but the quality is medium. Uh, and interme intermediate additional capabilities. I didn't want that. I wanted a good high quality output and I wanted punctuation. So this one here seems to work well for me. And so I just highlight it and then I just click the download button. And then once it's downloaded, you're all ready to go. And if you have uh, multiple modules installed, they come up right here but I just have the one. So you just click listen, and then it will start translating right away. Now I have this set up to constantly listen, but the way that it comes in default, it's just per sentence. So it'll listen for a sentence, and then if there's a pause, like one or two seconds, it'll stop and then you have to hit listen again. I'll show you, that. I'll show you where that is. If you come up here to the pancake menu and go to settings, and it comes, in, in default, it comes as just one sentence. And what that does is, let me show you. So if I hit listen, and then it's going to listen to my voice. If I pause for a second or two, watch the listen button, it'll go back to, uh, uh, you know, open again. And so there's the, pro see it says processing, please wait. And watch the listen button, it'll come back to open, and then I have to press it again. So right here, I have to press it again if I want it to listen again. I didn't want it to do that. I wanted to have it continually listen. So I just click on all. Press and hold. Basically, you press the space bar or the press the uh, listen button. And it'll just be, you know, it'll listen as long as you press that. But I put always on. And so there's so many other things in these settings. Uh, user interface. I mean, there's so much here. Uh, speech to tech. There's all kinds of stuff down here. Uh, text to speech. Uh, accessibility and other there's so much to this that I don't use um, I just set it to continually listen and then when I hit the listen button it'll always it'll constantly listen to anything that goes through the microphone uh, that's basically what I wanted it for I didn't want to have to I didn't want all these sophisticated things my problem is is in my typing so all I wanted to do was something that would print whatever I was saying And now, of course, it does take a little bit of, you know, it takes a few seconds for it to translate. But it does a really good job. For instance, if I'm talking along and I use something in the sentence that doesn't belong there, like if I'm saying, today was a, a, a great day, it won't print the uh if it thinks that it was an, a, a mistake, like a UH instead of a A. I hope I'm making sense. So let's try that again. Today was a uh, great day. 
and you'll notice it just printed today was a great day. Now I don't know why so many people have said there's no good speech to text software for Linux. This thing works incredibly well for me. I have no complaints about it. It works just as well as any of the ones that I use for Windows. So I thought I would show you guys this, give it a try, see if you like it. Uh, it's been working wonderfully for me.